Cool guys, so today we're going to be uh, testing this X-Team. It's a 2200 kV motor. You can see I'm not running any water cooling on it. It's a basic um, car motor. I was just intrigued to see how they would run on the outboard leg. I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of guys that have car motors lying around. Um, <clears throat> they say it's waterproof, but I can tell you it's not. I've blown air in the wires here comes out the um, thread ports etc I think what they mean is it's more like water resistant if you have it in an off-road basher but uh, yeah don't for a moment believe it's waterproof but it seems to be a good motor uh, it seems to have a lot of uh, uh, good positive uh, shares online when I look at where it's used um, so I think it'll be a good match with my um, 8000 milliamp 100 c lipos and i'm um, running 120 amp 720 burst uh, seeking uh, esc so uh, i think it'll be a good combo let's go see what it's like on the water okay we got a nice little breeze on the water this morning Definitely not as fast as the uh, leopard motor. Very smooth, though. So I'm going to bring it in now and I'm going to change the motor. I'm going to put the leopard motor on and we're going to just see the difference in speed. That was definitely not as fast as the leopard motor from what I could tell though. Definitely not as fast as the leopard motor from what I could tell though. Ah, oh, come on man. I don't understand why this thing is in reading though. Damn it man. Thirty-six degrees. 
40 yards, it's kind of operating temperature. Motor's 20, battery's 28. Right, so here we have now we got the uh, Leopard motor back on the um, Enigma leg. Uh, this is a 2550 uh, motor in comparison to the 2200, 2200 KV XT. Uh, so I guess it's obvious. Uh, I think in this case we need the RPM uh, more than we need the torque. Uh, but I'm going to run the Leopard motor now. We can see what the temperature like is on the Leopard motor, considering also that it's water cooled. And unfortunately my GPS never worked on that previous run. I seem to have a hit and miss uh, scenario with this damn GPS. Let's see if we can get it to work this time around. Yep. Without a doubt that uh, leopard motor is quicker. Trying to load the shaft up. Okay, let's bring it in. Hopefully, we got a reading. Yep, that leopard motor is definitely quicker. Yes, it's in the uh, KV, but at the same time, the shorter motor runs a uh, higher RPM. quicker. Yes it's in the uh, KV but at the same time the shorter motor runs a uh, higher RPM and also draws less amps.
Let's just check the motor. Motor's nice and cool, 38. 23, wake cooler. EEC running at uh, 56, 57 degrees in Fahrenheit, what would that be? 132, that's normal, that's good, happy of that. And with that full test, uh, testing both motors, I'm uh, only down to 3.76 volts, so uh, yeah, still getting good runs out of these LiPos, these 8100C. Well guys, so after that run I've extracted the flex shaft and you can see here on close inspection it's still looking great and I'm sure you would have noted in the video uh, that I was really grinding uh, the hull through the turns putting as much torque and stress on this cable as possible and I'm just really pleased to see how well it is holding up, eh? Okay, onward and upward. <laughs>